Welcome to the Laser Channel. My name is Greg, and in this video, I would like to share with you as I learn my very first 3D printer. This is the EC1 by Kokoni. Welcome back, and thanks for joining me for another video on the Laser Channel. Before I begin, I'd like to share with you that this is a sponsored video. The other week, Kokoni gave me a call and asked me if I would like to do video content on a 3D printer. And I said, no, I wouldn't like to, I'd love to. I've been keeping my eye on a nice 3D printer for a very long time, and this is the perfect opportunity. And this is definitely the perfect machine for me because I have absolutely zero experience with actually running a 3D printer. The EC1, it comes fully assembled, ready to go right out of the box. There's only two quick things that are needed to do to get this up and running, and that is to plug the unit in with the included power pack and load the app, the free app, onto your phone. That's right, this entire machine is run off of solely just a phone app. No computer connection is required. Speaking of the phone app, let me get this plugged in and I'll show you around inside the app. Here's the work bed area of the EC1. It provides a lot of volume to make a lot of really neat models, including a couple of these that I made as practice off camera. I was also able to make this Formula One race car with wheels that turn. That's a pretty cool model. And the last one that I have to show you is this character from a popular movie series. That one turned out really nice and I can't wait to do the final cleanup and actually get some paint on this model. All of these models were created going through the app that's on my phone here. And I'll just start at the very top here and it will tell me that I'm already connected to one device. When I go into that, here I'm connected to the Kokoni 3D EC1. It gives me a lot of nice basic information here. It tells me the 3D printer status. It's currently idle right now, the firmware version. And it tells me the filament status. And it tells me that I've got 61% of that left. That filament is located on the backside of the machine. We'll take a look at that when we're done with the app here. It also says that it is PLA filament, and that is the only filament that should be ran on this machine is the modified PLA filament from Kokoni. I'll back out of here, and I'd like to scroll down here a little bit and show you these are all the models that are free, available through the app that you can print on this very printer. If I go down to the bottom, I can tell it to explore more models, and that will start bringing up the whole library list of all the models that you have access to for free. And these can be downloaded to the app on your phone and then loaded directly into the 3D printer. We'll go on to create. And here we've got more options. And by the way, as you're seeing, this is super simple to navigate through this app. There's a lot of stuff in here, but it's very easy to find where everything is. Going back to this menu screen, this is one of the coolest things, and I'm gonna be showing you this at the very end of the video today, and that is 3D avatar modeling. Now this, you use your cell phone camera, you take a selfie, and it will model a 3D printer image to print on this printer. So that's gonna be pretty cool to check out. We'll back out of that. And it also has a guide. Uh, anything that you would like to know about running the printer, it has all of these guides and tutorials built right into the app. So if you're changing out the filament wire, going up to the machine, it will show you step-by-step step how to do that right from the app. Across the bottom here is a couple more options. If I click on Discover, that will bring up even more options for you to explore and learn about with your 3D printer. There's even more menu settings across the top, but I'm going to go back to the home screen. And this is just a really cool intuitive app to be able to use. 
When I go into my account in the bottom of the screen here, I can look at all my models that I have loaded into the app. At the top here, I've got an avatar. That's that selfie that I took. We're gonna be taking a look at that at the very end of the video. And then I've got the other models that I was playing around and those include the night that I have inside the work area, this F1 racer and Gandalf here that I printed out. And again, pretty cool detail that this EC1 is able to achieve. I'll back out and go back to the home screen, demonstrating just how easy it is to navigate throughout the app. The app used to control the EC1, it's laid out very nice. I found it to be very simple to use and an effective way to be able to create the models that I want and send them out to the machine. I also wanted to mention that when you go to the website, you can create a user login account there and that will be the same login account that you'll use with your phone. And that's because there's some third party websites out there that have free 3D models that you can download for personal use. You can then load those models from your computer up to your account and sync that with the app on your phone. And that's how you can download models off the internet and print them out on your EC1. As promised, I would show you what one of the reels or cartridges of the filament looks like. Now, this is all gear driven. There's a little gear on the back and that matches up to a gear on the back of the machine. And these just snap into place. And again, there's a tutorial on the app that will show you step-by-step -step on how to change out the filament. I take this one out of the vacuum sealed wrapper, but these filaments like to be kept cool and dry, and these will always ship vacuum packed in a sealed bag. So if you're somebody that likes to print in one color and then a couple days later switch to another color, you can certainly do that with this machine. I just recommend that you have a large Ziploc type bag and reseal your unused cartridges and place them in a cool dry area. The filament cartridges contain about 70 meters of filament and that's going to be enough to print about 20 models on this style of printer. So there's quite a bit of life and quite a few models that you can print out of just one of these cartridges. This has been an absolutely amazing printer for somebody like me that is new to the 3D printing world. I've always been a little bit apprehensive with 3D printers because I've heard about people trying to import models and they have issues with that and this printer, I'm able to go on the app or on the internet, find a model that I like, load it through the app, up to the machine, and just hit the print button. And a little while later, I have one of these nice models completed on the printer. And I'm just really loving the detail that it produces. If you'd like to know more details about this product from Kokoni, I will have a link in the description of the video down below and you can explore all the possibilities of creating with the Kokoni EC1. If you've liked this video, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Doing any number of those things really helps the channel out, but more so, it's a great way to connect content like this with great viewers like you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this 3D printer in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see more content from the brand name Kokoni, let me know in the comments down below as well. Until next time, learn, create, and share.